well it's a sad story i remember uh, justice krishnayer uh, speaking about uh, bhoposhima comparing it to hiroshima tragedy it's a, it's sad because the indian legal community academics included have not responded the way that we ought to have responded for a tragedy of that proportion either people were benumbed not knowing how to react or the lawyers were to be woken up by the american lawyers coming down and uh, putting in vakalats on behalf of the hundreds and thousands of people in total misery justice was denied in that case had soft to that district judge of bhopal who gave an interim order of 400 crores of rupees which is something unprecedented under the civil justice system in our country but the judiciary has failed the bhopal victims the legal profession has totally failed the bhopal victims the academics well they have limitations they could not do much i mean the government has failed the question that we need to ask now is have we learned the lessons i should only say that in a small way we have responded in national law school bangalore where we introduced a full semester long course on the bhopal tragedy we called it mass tots it was a second course in tots entirely with the documentation available on the bhopal tragedy and how could the legal system respond more responsibly if a, a similar thing god forbid were to happen and uh, the students are now fairly well aware of the sri ram gas leak case and the principle of uh, absolute liability uh, the the amendments to the law the factories act and the public insurance act and so many other uh, constitutional tort which is now available in our country in such cases so you don't have to drag on in the civil courts and the criminal courts you can get quick constitutional remedies by invoking the constitutional tort if such a thing were to happen so the law students were enabled to uh, uh, find innovative ways of lawyering and getting relief and rehabilitation to mass tort victims from the lessons of the bhopal tragedy that is one thing that has happened in the academic world after the bhopal gas leak now i am sure that the expertise has been developed and the judges also have learned their lesson how they should be responding if such a thing were to happen we have now the nuclear liability act also i think you know government also has now packages available things will be different but justice ought to be done if that were to happen the immediate question is what more justice can be given to those who were denied justice and who are still suffering in bhopal i spent 4 years in bhopal in the judicial academy and every training program that i did for high court judges and district judges bhopal tragedy was a module so the sensitivity for judges which are required in such situation has been inculcated by the judicial academy to those judges who have undergone training uh, since the academy started working in bhopal in fact some of the judges have been taken to the site and uh, and the challenges the continuing challenges to the judiciary they are faced so there are no simple answers for it but uh, the people will have to be aware that the judiciary has not adequately responded which is a failure which we need to acknowledge